Today's lesson is on simple machines, and the simple machine we're going to work on today is called the wheel and axle. What's it called? Wheel and axle. So a wheel and axle is just like the lever that we studied in the last lesson. A simple machine does not make less work, it makes work easier. It makes work easier. And so usually easier over a longer <laughs> distance. And so this is, believe it or not, a wheel and axle. Let me show you. Here is the wheel and there's an axle right through the middle of it. And so I can use <laughs> this by turning. I can do some work. Am I doing work? Do you see? Yeah. I'm using a force and I'm moving an object, right? Yeah. If I let go, gravity takes over. So this is a simple machine that shows a wheel and axle. I can turn this axle, that wheel lifts it up. That's one of the simple machines that we're gonna study. I also, in just a moment, we're gonna make our own wheel and axle. Believe it or not, with a paper clip. <laughs> so, I'm gonna give you this paper clip in just a moment. We're gonna open it up, okay? And I'm going to make it somewhat straight. You'll have to do this. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a hook on the end of it like that. So you're probably saying, huh, how is that a wheel and axle? Well, if we can get it to turn like a wheel, and if it has a straight rod like an axle, we can do that. Okay, so um, here is our wheel and axle. Now, there are two ways to turn this. One is to hold it like that and turn like that. Would you say that is a small distance or a big distance I'm turning? Um, that is a big distance. Now, what if I hold it like this and turn it like that? That's a small distance. So this paperclip, we're all going to do this. We're going to investigate what type of force it takes for a big turn or what type of force does it take for the small one. So, Hold, let's see, I'll tell you what, I'm going to hold this as tight as I can. Now, if I hold this really tight, you're going to do some work. And you remember, what is work when you use a force to move an object, right? Put your hand up here. Push, push. Oh, you just did some work. Come on, not so strong, girl. <laughs> well, okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. You used a force to move an object. Whew. I tell you, you got some, a lot of energy in this class. All right, here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to hold this as tight as I can. And I'm a, I'm a muscle man. I'm going to hold this as tight as I, I can. And let's see if you can use your little finger to move it. You probably the won't. little one? Yeah. Because no. we're going to use, wait a minute, I'm holding it. Go. I'm going to try it. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Way too easy. It's because it's a simple machine. I'm, oh. Oh, Stop. <laughs> so, she used... She used little force, but you did a, what? A big distance, right? All right, let's try this. Now this time, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens now. I'm gonna hold this really tight. Use your little finger and see if you can, go on. Oh, not so, oh, you're bending. What, no, not your whole hand. See that, she used her whole hand. <laughs> one finger. Don't elbow me in the face. <laughs> It, is it harder? Yeah. See, it's harder to do, but it's a shorter distance. Now, the work is the same. Would you guys like to try that? Yeah! Okay. Okay, so let's look at our worksheet. And it says we're going to state our hypothesis. So here's our hypothesis today. If we use a simple machine, then the work, and this is where I need your help, the work is what? What's the work? Easier. 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 Because the force is over a longer, what? Distance. Say that again. A longer distance, distance right. Because the force is over a longer distance. If we use a simple machine, then the work is easier because the force is over a longer distance. As we know on our earlier investigation, work is when you use a force to move an object a distance. Okay, so let's take your paper clip 
And it kind of looks like a paper clip, right? And so uh, I'm going to draw it. You don't have to draw it, but I'm going to draw my paper clip. It kind of looks like this, right? But I want you to unfold this paper clip and make it in this shape. Ready? So unfold your paper clip. Go ahead. And see this small part? Have that stick up. So it looks like that. Boys and girls, you're going to have one really long piece and then a little piece that sticks up. So it ends up looking like this. Okay. Line, and then you have a handle with a straight uh, line. So I'd like you to show me how, hold it by the short end and rotate it a long distance into a circle. Okay. Now hold it by the long side and rotate it the small way. You're doing it the, uh, hold it the other way. There you go. Hold it this way now. Let go there. Hold it that way and rotate it like that. Okay, two different ways to rotate, right? But everybody show me that. Hold it by the short end and rotate it in a big circle. Hold it by the short end and rotate it in a big circle. Okay. Now, hold it by the long end and rotate the small circle. Come on, hold that, hold that short end tight, and the other person use one finger to move it. Okay, there is an example of little force but big distance, right? Nice job on that one. And if you do it on the very end, it's even easier. Nice job. Easy. What is it? Oh. Is that hard or easy? Is that hard or easy? Kind of hard. Well, it's twisting, but is, is it hard? Just do it with your your finger down like that. There you go. Okay. Is that hard or easy? There. It's easy. It's easy. Okay. Okay. Now we switched it, and you're holding the long part. Let's see if we can move. It. She's holding as hard. Is that harder or easier? Harder. Harder. But look, it's a smaller, smaller circle. Very good. Oh, what about you guys? How's it going? Harder, right? But a smaller circle. We got a chance to try this. I want you to make this drawing. Here's the first drawing. It was like this. First, you held the short end, and it had the long, like right there. So make that drawing. Short and long. We'll call that A, all right? And then over here, you did this one. Long with the short end. See that? See the two of them? That's B, right? Once you draw those, we're gonna make the circle on these, watch. Make an arrow like a circle. This is how you turned it, with an arrow like that. And this is how you turn this one, a small circle like that, okay? Go ahead, I'll give you some time. So we have two drawings here. Let's go back to that force and distance. Which one of these has the big F? Because a big F means a big F means big force. And which one of these has a small F, which means small force? Which one did you have to really push hard on? A or B? B. B. So let's put a big F by B, which stands for big force. And which one did you have to push just a little bit on? A. A. So let's put a small F. Now. Let's multiply that by distance. Which one gets a big D? What do you think that stands for, a big D? Distance. Distance. Big distance. And what does a small D stand for? Small distance. Small distance. So which one gets a big D and which one gets a small D? Which one gets a big D? Which one does the D move a lot, A or B? A. A. So look at that. Small f times big D, and the other one was big F times small D. D. Guess what? Which one was more work? That was a trick question. Which one is more work? The work is the same. That was a trick question. This one was small force over a big distance, and so the work is equal. I'm gonna write work 
is equal. Now, if you take a look at your worksheets, you have two examples of a simple machine, the wheel and axle. One of them is small force over a big distance, and the other one is a big force over a small distance, but the work is the same. So this has been our lesson on simple machines, wheel and axle. And you still have to finish your worksheet and write about your experience and what you've learned. But I think you have one more thing to say, don't you? To infinity and beyond.